Hi guys and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 5. And in this blog post, I'm going to give you an overview about the Power BI Premium. So let us start. So when we talk about the Power BI Premium, basically it is the most expensive tier of Power BI, which is currently available and very distinct from the other two versions available on the market, namely Power BI Desktop and Power BI Pro. And on the top of the features which and functionalities, which is actually provided by the Power BI Desktop and Power BI Premium. Uh, you will also get more services uh, and you get more functionality with respect to the Power BI Premium. So what you will get first one is like increased data capacity limits, which as well as maximum performance. Uh, you will also get access to one API service uh, you will be able to embed Power BI visuals into apps, for example, Power Apps, SharePoint, Teams, etc. Then you will have larger uh, storage size for extended deployments, and then you can also get the geo distribution, high, higher refresh rates, isolation, uh, pin to memory, and read only replicas so basically pa power bi differs from the free version and the power bi pro into its licensing model which only suits a specific size and type of organization and the business scenario you can purchase premium in range of capacity sizes that offer different numbers of memory and virtual code that can scale as your data analysis requirements change and with power bi premium you are licensing capacity for your data sets, dashboards, and reports, not just licensing all users of that content. In other words, you are not buying individual licenses, you are buying them in bulk to allow a larger number of users to use Power BI to view reports. All of your content is basically stored in premium and that can be viewed, viewed by as many as users in your organization as you want. And guess what, it's free and without any additional per user cost so uh let us discuss about the main advantage advantages that you will get from the power bi uh, uh, premium so first one is like you can accelerate your decision making when everyone has access to the inside so you can adjust power bi premium licensing to fit your business needs uh, <clears throat> use it as an individual seat license for advanced self-service PA or per capacity to enable anyone inside or outside your organization to view Power BI content, including paginated and interactive reports. Another one is like you can choose the deployment options that works best for your organization with on-premises supporting through Power BI support server and your choice of geographic region for cloud deployment. Then you can scale a scale as your needs grow with managed cloud infrastructure that minimizes downtime and ensure workload performance. Next one is like unlock big data with self-service data preparation. So you can actually find and the data you need by using pre-built connectors for common services like Dynamic 365 a year synapse analytics sales for Excel and SharePoint. Another one is like you can empower business analysts to ingest, transform, and enrich big data through the already familiar Power Query experience without developing specialized skills or relying on others. Another one is like you can prepare your data once and then reuse it, it across multiple Power BI models to derive efficiency and accuracy. Another one is you can handle larger data volumes with ease and take advantage of like 10 times performance increase in your latest architecture. So another benefit that you will get is like simplify data management and access and First one is like you can gain clear insight over your utilization capacity drivers and trends with transparent matrices and ensure your analytics are always running at a peak performance by auto scaling capacity. Then you meet data residency requirements by deploying in any region you choose, including national clouds. I decide the best way for users to view and collaborate through organizational data set 
certification, flexible reporting types, distribution formats, and embedding options. Then you can actually reduce your high uh, IT headaches with a unified BI tool that includes central governance, security, and management across all users inside or outside your organization. Next one is you can actually take the advantage of self-service BI and advanced analytics in a per user license. Uh, you can actually assess premium capabilities by the way uh, that works for your business or enable key teams with, uh, with additional self-service BI tools. Uh, you can share big insights for an even bigger impact create a data-driven culture throughout your organization, easily share and collaborate on interactive data visualizations using Power BI Premium per user for self-service analytics. Then you can actually enable advanced workloads, in, including paginated reports, AI capabilities, such as auto ML, impact analysis, Azure cognitive services, data flows, a usage-based aggregated op optimization, application lifecycle management, or ALM and enhanced automatic page refresh. Then, uh, then we come to like, you can view your Power BI premium content with the Power BI mobile apps. Uh, so you can securely access, view, and share live uh, Power BI dashboards and reports on any device with native mobile mobile Power BI apps for iOS, Android, and Windows. Uh, then you can easily annotate reports with any touch screen to draw your team's attention to important insights. Then you can ask your data questions and use geographic location to filter your data across according to your, to where, according to where you are. And thanks for watching my video and please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel Yasser Fazal and please do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you should get the latest video as soon as it is uploaded and as always please spread the knowledge. Thank you.